Hello, my name's Robbie, and you've joined me at the point in my YouTube career where I've just completely sold out and I'm doing loads of stuff on TV and I've just forgotten to post YouTube videos. Well, I'm back and I've got an absolute cracker of a canal video for you today because not only is it based in one of my favourite canal villages, it also takes on a very quaint rural canal with lots of lovely bridges and of course there's a pub in there somewhere too. So without any further waffling on, let's just get straight into this, have a little wander around the village of Braunston, see the pub and then get cranking. Yes! Braunston is a unique place in terms of canal history. It's almost like a working museum. You can come here and really get immersed in it. You can just look around and imagine what life used to be like for the working boats back in the day. But this video, like many others I've made before, is more of a boater's eye view. The real side of boating, as I see it as a liverboard continuous cruiser. So my first stop is usually the marina to um, stock up on things and get some diesel or coal or something if it's winter. And for many who own boats in winter they keep them here or they bring them here actually to sell. But I'm not thinking about selling mine. I'm thinking, Christ, what am I going to do next? You know, where where's my journey going to take me? I really don't know. But one thing I do know is it's time to find Pub of the Week. The Admiral Nelson is a pub that's right by lock number three. There's six locks coming into Braunston and uh, it's a really popular spot, but it's not quite my cup of tea. It's a lovely pub, that one, but it's not quite what I would class as Pub of the Week material. Somewhere where I can walk in and feel comfortable without even having a drink. There, it's very much they're very busy. They've got a lot of customers coming in and out. And um felt like I was too much trouble for them. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to go somewhere where I can be trouble and uh, also be welcomed. There are four pubs in Braunston and they all seem to be not too far away from this bit. We've got the main shop, post office, cafe. It's all happening here. Actually, I don't know how many people in Braunston know how lucky they are, really, because this is a very rare sight in a village to have all these things, especially this butcher here, which people travel all over to get the the meat from there and veg and eggs. All sorts of things are on sale. And, uh, yeah, I definitely left very well stocked after shopping here. This is Nibbits Lane, it's how I come and go to where my boat's moored down on the canal. So it's a bit of a walk up and down this steep hill but it's worth it. Right here we are, this is the green in Braunston, got the village, village hall we just walked past and this is Pub of the Week. Oh. Now this is my sort of pub, you can come in, get all cosy in the corner, watch the football, put some tunes on the jukebox, have a bit of banter with the locals. You could try out different forms of fashion, or simply just lick someone's face off. It's also a great place to drink pints of beer. Something you probably couldn't get away with in perhaps a library or a hospital. That might be somewhere that you might end up if you have too much. Anyway, I'm not here to do any of those things. Well, maybe some of those things. But I also want to find out about a local game that only seems to be played in Northamptonshire itself. 
How many skittles are there? There's nine. Nine, right, okay, so, so you want to get... Most people get nine. Get... If you get nine with the first one, or the first two, you can get what they call a stack. So the third cheese then, you can all set up again. It, it sounds quite complicated, it's, but uh, in actual fact, when you get used to it, I suppose... If you could actually... Yeah. Boo indeed, because that's the end of Pub of the Week. I'm going to leave the wheat sheaf and head down quite a steep dark hill. So yeah, don't have too many pints and uh, bring a torch with you is my tip. can't really talk about Braunston without mentioning the church here because for hundreds of years this has been a focal point for um, religious boating families. They would have their children baptised where they were born and then bring them back here to baptise them again. And when boaters died they wanted to be buried here. So on the records it shows a disproportionate amount of people dying in Braunston. Church is really worth popping in to see. Unfortunately for me, I'm a devout Satanist and was not allowed in. Um, no, they just weren't open when I was there. But I did find this outside. I wonder what this was leading down to the crypt. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments below. turn. It's the junction here where you can have a turn for Birmingham or carry on 
uh, to reach places like Coventry and um, the Trent and Mersey beyond that. Ashby Canal, all those little places. I don't know really where I'm going. I've looked at the maps. <laughs> but don't spoil it for me, I right? Don't tell me what's coming up. I want to find it for myself. <laughs> I need to pull in right here. Quick! <laughs> I missed the turning. That's the Chandlery that I need to visit. Toilets, yes, this place has absolutely everything you can conceive to do with narrowboats, apart from all the bits that I needed because my boat's really old and um, all the fittings are no longer made. So I've got my coal, let's take that back to the boat anyway. Oh. Can't believe how much money I've just spent. 100 quid for four bags of coal and some of those compressed wood log things. The North Oxford Canal, on paper it doesn't look too exciting, there's only four locks, but there's a whole lot of twists and turns and some beautiful landscapes to look at. But before I set off, another boater stopped me and he said, do you know what, you were just looking for something in there you couldn't get, I've got a spare copy of it. Amazing, that is what it's all about in this community. That was so kind, um, another boater I was speaking to in the shop and I was complaining about all the prices of everything of course. And um, I didn't want to buy any fire cement for a fire brick that I'd also bought to repair my stove. And this lad, he's brought his, whatever he had left uh, and he dropped it off at the boat. <laughs> That's really nice. This is such a beautiful day to be out on the canals. I'll find a nice quiet mooring somewhere. I've never seen one that close. <laughs> Gotta watch out now though because I'm about to go into this bridge here. <laughs> it's a very busy day, very windy. Let's see if any other boats are coming. There's been quite a few already. And this is a beautiful boat here. Wow, look at that. I'm going to keep this video quite short because as you can see I'm using experimental, improved quality camera type of thing for jigs. But it's in, in 4K, so I don't know how long it's going to take to edit this. <laughs> it's lovely to see the lambs. It means that spring's here, where well, it's not quite. But uh, I can start to, start to see some of the flowers coming out and it's just magic. I love spring, it's my favourite time of year. Everything's fresh. This canal, very rural, sort of out of the way. There's not too much. I think it's rugby is the biggest town and even that we, we skirt around it. And there's only about four locks I think. So yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of long winding canals like this.
Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, famous yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? You having a good trip? Yeah. Where are you off to? Don't know. I always like to put in an extra special clip right at the end of the video, and that is coming up. But first, I've got to thank some extra special people for helping me by joining the Crank It crew. Shout out Crank It crew in the house um, or on the boat, uh, really, because they're all going in this logbook which stays on my boat at all times. So first off we've got Hannah Wilde, Steve Olney, Graham and Laura Morris, Fran Trellis, over the page we've got Julie Turton, Kate Puplett, Jane and John Griffith, Gavin Cooper, Jeff Stevenson, Pete Woodman, DS, mysterious initials there, John Smith, Carrier Bag, that's my mate Greg, Mark Cope, Michael J. Brown, Valerie Ely, Joyce Smith, Ian Stewart, Paul Davis, Jeff, and Keith Zamet. And then we've got extra special shout outs for producers Jason and Marie, Darren Page, and Debs. Thank you all so much. Oh, we've got one more. He gets his own page. It's Richard Shipman. Right, actually, there is one more that's just come in. And this is one of the most surprising ones I've had so far. Paul Roberts from K-Class, legendary dance act. If you know your electronic music, you'll know his work. Welcome to the crew, Paul. And thanks especially to your daughter, Elodie, who's bought this as a birthday present. Brilliant. Right, as a reward for sticking with this video until the end, I'm going to share with you a very special announcement that is just about to go live. So here's your sneak preview. Hello, my name's Robbie, and I'm sitting on board my boat, which is also my home, with my brand new CD. This is very much a DIY effort, so it's all quite lo-fi stuff. I have not been into a studio. This has all been recorded on this boat using pretty much just a phone, the phone that I'm recording this video on, and an iPad sometimes but mostly just listening to headphones, recording, looping acoustic guitar over beats that are all pretty much inspired by people like DJ Shadow. Um, and yeah, lots of electronic influences going on in there. But there's 22 tracks on here made up of two different albums that are already available um, digitally, but this is the first time that they've been remastered and put on a CD. And um, yeah, inside we've got that there uh, booklet. I've designed all this myself, so it is very much, you know, the only thing that hasn't been done by me on this record is the mastering itself. So production, everything, performance. It's all my own photography as well. Am I clever, eh? <laughs> this music, it goes with the videos that I've, I've made. And now, finally, it's available as a CD. I used to work at HMV, stickering up all the stickers, never would have dreamed of having my own release, and now hopefully this is going to go in the same HMV store that I used to work in. It's always been a dream of mine to do this. It would not be possible without the help of the label KWS. I hope you enjoy the music. Uh, there's a link um, in the description to this video if you want to click on that. Anyway, thanks for watching.